Hello everyone! Good morning! It's a Friday, it's 11.30 a.m. We woke up late, like at 10.30 and we decided that we're going somewhere. The weather is not nice at all and that's why I have layers but we need to do something. So the idea today is to visit and walk around Viterbo. Viterbo is a very beautiful, beautiful town in Lazio. Today I can leave my district but I can't leave my region I guess and so Viterbo sounds good it'll take me like 90 minutes to get there by car but I'm happy we feel excited we feel like we're going on vacation because finally we decided that we want to do something guys it's hard when you work from home like us I mean it's hard for everybody but if you work from home you feel like you're losing your mind hello uh. have you ever been to Viterbo Yes. Just like that time we drove by? Yes. Don't worry, they can see you. Yeah, that one time. Let's have a little breakfast and then we have to go. It's late. We're ready to go. I look like I'm going to Russia. Let's go! You happy? Yeah! You need to come outside. Come, Yanka. 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 The world! <laughs> it's so great. Alright, we're on the highway and Mr. Brian loves what do I call autogrill in English? Like a gas station bars? Pit stop. But it's not the same, right? The autogrill is a it's a whole like experience. Yeah, it's we have truck stops. Truck stop. <laughs> truck stop. Stops? Truck stop. He loves truck stops and so we're gonna have a second breakfast auto grill is an experience we're here and i read online that you can park here and they have elevators that take you straight to the city center. Spot. I see spots, but I don't know where the elevators are. It's back. And it's also 1.30 and if we want, aren't you a little too close? But if we want to eat, we have to find the restaurant now. First quest, find the restaurant. No, actually that's the second. First is find the elevators. I just need to tell you, here we were walking towards an elevator that I saw and I thought that it was the right elevator. Brian thought that the right elevator was in a different direction, so we ended up going towards Brian's direction and he ended up being right. And I just want you to know that he kept bringing it up the whole day. I was wrong and he was right. I'm just telling you so that you know who Brian really is. <laughs> just kidding, but yeah. An elevator. It's me, baby. There is an elevator? Yeah. Good job. It's like that elevator led nowhere. Just because it was an elevator and she saw you take an elevator, she's like, it's this. I was like, no. Okay. Echo. Ah. Let's go. I'm proud of myself. For once, I'm right. Sonia was wrong. Wow, how am I still taller than you? Nee, 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 nee. How am I still taller than you? We're in the city. So beautiful! Viterbo is a very, very old city. Its origins date back to before the Roman Empire. But it's also known as the city of the popes because in the 13th century the papal seat was moved from Rome to Viterbo because it was a little bit safer. It's a little nice piece of trivia, huh? So far, Viterbo seems to be very COVID friendly. In the sense that no one is here. <laughs> it's like a ghost town. We just found a restaurant and since I don't see a lot of places around, I guess we don't have a lot of choice. We want to try? Yeah. Let's see if it's open. The weirdest... There's nobody. The what weirdest thing Sonya just happened. That there's a ghost town and we walk into the restaurant and they're like, sorry, there's no We're seats. full. So it's a ghost town, there's nobody here. We entered the restaurant, the restaurant was full. I mean, it wasn't full in the sense that full capacity, but since they have restrictions for COVID, they were full for tennis. 
I mean, I'm not that hungry, honestly. So I'm, sorry. I'm not that hungry. Oh my god, what's with that Busotera now? Maybe we can go on a tour. Ask me. I will ask. We're going on a tour. Lunch can wait. opened in another part of the house this is so cool because we're literally the only ones here it leads to darkness <laughs> it's kind of creepy because you know how i'm always anxious and i'm like okay if there's an earthquake now and we I was stuck about there that. nobody would even know nobody would come for us it's just the two of us in this well the woman would room. know and she know we were dead what if she died would be stuck here let's go the tour was pretty cool, short and nice, but there's a longer version for non-COVID times. And the woman working there recommended a restaurant in the medieval part of the town. It was really nice, as you can tell. <laughs> Guys, so, Sonia didn't take the last name Miller. Okay, really? We were talking about it. I didn't take his last name. In America, you know that they do take the husband's last name. And in Italy, they don't. It's not something that we're used to doing. And when it came to that, I was like shocked. Like, I never thought I would change my name. Sonny Christopher is who I am. Maybe if you're American... And if I become Sonny Miller, I'm a new person. Yes, it's, it's so deep. It's, it's a deep thing. In America, when you, you think like, hmm, I want to get married and you're a woman, you know that you'll change your last name. In Italy, I had never even considered it. And also, right now we're living in Italy. If I moved to America, I would consider taking Miller just because Cristofori, it's a little bit hard in English. I would always have to spell it. Spell it. C-R-I-S-T-O-F-O-R-I. -O -O I'm kind of slow at spelling. <laughs> All right, let's eat. I had a soup with chickpeas and chestnuts and Brian had a pasta with porcini mushrooms. How is it? Good, and can I just tell the camera that you just did a typical Sonia thing? What? This is Sonia. If I'm about to take my first bite of something... How is it? <laughs> Literally like the second my tongue touches the smallest <laughs> grain of rice. Like, how is it? It's like, let me, let me get a couple bites, let me swallow. So you have time to think about it. This is Sonia. How is it? How is it? <laughs> After lunch, we were a little cold, but we kept walking around because you know we like to do that, get lost in the little town, explore it, and talk, and be cold. <laughs> yeah, we enjoyed it. Okay, sometimes when we go around and we visit different Italian cities, he's like, Italy so old. There's nothing like this in America. And this is not to say that America's not beautiful. It's just like there's nothing like this in America. So there are beautiful things, but different things. And I guess Italy's old. I don't know, this is so Italian and I'm so used to it, but Brian is not yet. And still, when we go out, he's like, this is so beautiful, this is so nice. And I, I agree, like, look at this. Something so easy and yet so nice. I'm cold. Terme de papi. Yeah, I'd love to go there, but they're closed. Obviously. Oh, that would be nice. That would be so nice. Imagine. <laughs> On set. Imagine if you and I were the only people in the world and we could just walk into this fountain and it was steaming hot water. Would you? I'd be so sad if we were the only people in the world. But I don't think I would. And you know why? You don't want to get undressed. When you go in, it's all nice. When you go out, you die. My hands are so cold. They're getting all red. At around 4 or 4.30 p.m. we decided to go back to Rome because even though Viterbo was really nice, we were cold. If time travel got invented today and you were the first person to test it out, when and where would you want to go? Future? You can go future too. I think I'd probably try and see what the future looks like. 20 years, 30 years, 100. A thousand. A thousand years from now. That's the first thing I would do, probably, because I'm curious. I want to see. If you could only go back, what period would you go to? All right, so I know it sounds meh, but I want to wake up on a Monday morning and go to Rome city center, Ifori, the forum. And I would love to see, you know, like the Colosseum just 
just made and the marketplace full of people who are wearing the Roman dress and like the gladiators maybe I would see the gladiators like I would love to go to those streets that are so familiar to me now like 2,000 years later compared to when they were made and see what they looked like cool I'm sure yeah. how about you I have to think think I would go back to probably like early human days like the Neanderthals that's dangerous kind of I'm ready for a challenge <laughs> that's too wild for me too wild We're back. I'm kind of tired because before coming home, we stopped at the mall and I bought maybe the most useless thing ever, but I want to show you because I love it and it was 50% off and I think it's so cute. So wait, let me show you. <laughs> it's a raincoat. I love it! I love this yellow. Okay, it's not for the winter. Like, it's definitely not warm. It's not for summer. I don't know <laughs> how to style this. Actually, I'm not a fashion expert, so if you are, can you please give me some advice? How would you style this long yellow raincoat? When am I supposed to wear it? How? Please advise. Also, because now I have like, I have a lot of things to tell you. One sec. In like one hour, I'm having a trial lesson with a yoga teacher. You know how I work on my computer maybe more than 10 hours a day? Like I'm always there and my neck is going through a tough time. It's always so stiff. And I was thinking, well also one of my students told me that I should try yoga and I was trying to find some online group lessons but the time never works for me because usually it's either like 6 to 7 p.m. and it's prime time for me I have most of my lessons at 6, 7, 8 or early in the morning like morning yoga let's go together at 6 37 like no especially because I've never done yoga before I want to try with some private lessons you know I don't want to hurt myself so in one hour I have my first it's not really a trial lesson it's more like a chat with a yoga teacher so I can tell her how I feel why I want to do yoga my experience with yoga zero I'm also not flexible at all I know it's not attractive but I'm not flexible like I can't touch my toes I can't if I do this like my back hurts I'm not flexible if everything goes well in one year I might be a yoga expert okay real quick this is the editing Sonia from the future and I don't want to wait a whole week before telling you that I started taking yoga lessons I've taken two lessons so far and even though I am not good as expected I like it I really 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 like it and even though it's been just a week I am so starting to see a small small little tiny difference but it's a lot it's a lot on my neck I like it I'm liking it so far stay tuned let's go back to the video and then I received this yes I'm still following that healing diet of course it's a little more flexible now I have my cheat days I can eat gluten and dairy sometimes but still I ordered rice crackers a lot of peanut butter this is umeboshi is like so good for your gut and it's also good it tastes good and then I have here some sunscreen you know I wear sunscreen every day Lately, you know the best feeling? I've been finishing all of my beauty products Like I finished my vitamin C, I finished my moisturizer, I finished my sunscreen It's so nice when you know that it's like you're using the product up until the very last drop And you feel like that was money well spent Good job Sonia I finished my sunscreen, I need more Guys, thank you so much for watching I doubt we're gonna have dinner tonight, I still feel full and ciao. I need to subscribe to the vlog. Subscribe to the vlog, please. Oh, I like the please. Subscribe the vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Say bye, Bianca. No. You say goodbye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. 
Aww. 